What's up guys and welcome to another Ego Duel Links video So as you saw in that clip just now We finally unlocked Aporia So let's dive right in to see My what skills he has Aporia, Or what other cards he has along the leveling up So the, the first skill you obtain will be called Embodiment of Despair Magload Astro Mechanical So you will have to, you will start the duel having all these 4 cards in your deck and not to mention Magload Astro Mechanical will be a boss monster and it has a very decent attack and defense defense stat right there not to mention the, sp the special summoning condition is is so good all you need to do is to discard 3 Magload monsters from your hand to the graveyard and boom just like that you special summon this monster onto the field not to mention you can equip a synchro monster from your opponent's side of the field to discard and during your standby phase send that equipped monster to the graveyard inflict half of its attack points to your opponent to your opponent's life points as burn damage so this is a pretty decent effect not to mention with 4000 points of attack any synchro monster being equipped to it will boost it up to 5000 5, to 6000 points of attack if your opponent has red dragon archfiend you have uh, you have maglord astro mechanical with 7000 points of attack if you equip it not to mention there's also a recycling effect as well where you actually can return maglord army of weisel Skyle and also Grinnell from the graveyard back to your hand and only and when you after you use this skill You must make sure you are able to special summon Magload Astro Mechanical onto the field just like that If not, you basically recycle those monsters into your hand But you cannot activate any other card effects for that turn until you special summon this big boy right there Aside from that we have other Magload supports right there like Gr like Grinnell Carrier, Scale Guard Wazel card number 3 Chaos Bloom But Chaos Bloom is a pretty lackluster card If you're gonna, if you're not going to play 3 copies of it in a deck Because it's dependent on how many copies you have in a graveyard So if you actually have managed to mill those cards into the graveyard Or activate it by destroying a monster with 1000 or less attack points on the field Or whatever That only can actually get to the good part of destroying a spell or trap Or maybe destroy a card that's on the field so if you're gonna play this card, I recommend you rather use something like Raigeki Break, Night Beam, Mystical Space Typhoon, or maybe Parallel, or maybe Double Cyclone, which is so much better than this card. And anyways, aside from that, you also have the skill Beatdown coming up at level 13, and also Maglord Emperor Grinnell. So just like any other Maglord Emperor monsters, such as the one before that Primo used, when you special summon this card onto the field, it is the only card that can attack whereas any other monsters you control are just basically statues and not going to be able to do anything for that turn unless they have their own effects that you can use to inflict burn damage or maybe you can actually use use them for fusions or something it all depends really and what and when you it has a synchro monster equipped you can special summon that synchro monster onto the field in defense position so that's a pretty decent effect if, and to be honest, I'm not. I don't think I'm gonna use this in my deck. To be honest, and next up is Grinnell Carrier, our second copy, our second copy of Skellguard. Next up is a skill called Fortissimo Combo. Return the Maglord Emperor from your hand to the owner's deck. Play a face-up Fortissimo onto your field zone. Field zone, and just like that, you can you activate this effect. Fortissimo, the Mobile Fortress, essentially lets you special summon a Maglord Army monster from your hand once per turn. So that means you get an additional summon of a Maglord army monster. If so, if you're gonna play a Maglord army deck or Maglord emperor deck, this card is a staple to use. So and next up, we also have our second copy of White Soul card three, second copy of Chaos Bloom, our first copy of Maglord Emperor Scale. So just like Maglord Emperor Grinnell, the special summoning conditions are listed as before. But with this effect, it's being different because it gets to uh, it gets to detach that equipped monster, equip si detach that synchro monster that was equipped to it and attack directly. And as per usual, it is the only card that can attack during your turn. Next up, you also have your final copy of Grinnell Carrier, your final copy of Scale Guard, your third copy of Weisel Guard, and your final copy of Chaos Bloom. But the card I look forward to obtaining is called Aurora Draw. So Aurora Draw basically is basically like a part of greed, but for Maglord for Maglord deck. So if you control a Maglord monster and you have no other cards in hand, you can essentially just draw two cards just like that. 
Yeah, pot, it's a free it's a free pot of greed as long as you control a maglord on the field. So that's a pretty fun thing to go about. And aside from that, you also have the continuing if the continuing event for the maglord emperor raid boss. So you can continue this event and proceed as follows. While getting your cumulative reward system, I didn't manage to obtain at least. I hope to at least obtain Chaos Infinity. I have not obtained any thus far, and it's kind of sad. But I managed to obtain other cards that is already available. For instance, Soundproof. I managed to obtain three common copies and one one percentage copy from this cumulative reward system. Not to mention at least have four copies of Grenell attack so that's something something I guess if I'm gonna play a Grenell Maglord deck if I'm if I'm thinking about it but so far this is what I managed to build for Aporia and as you can see for Aporia's deck is basically just a generic Maglord Maglord kind of deck so with Maglord Army of Scale, Maglord Grenell, Maglord Wiesel that's available there I use into the void so that I can draw into more cards during that turn because with Embodiment of Despair being activated you essentially have more cards in your deck so it's, be it's basically better to keep to draw that extra card to see what else you can get during that turn so as usual I'm using Library of Klein so it's a negate attack for one turn not to mention you can switch original attack and defense of that monster until the next of the end of the turn next up Pulse Mines is there just because it's a machine deck you can essentially splash this in Along with some other cards like Reboot to essentially, to essentially get Maglords into your hand from your graveyard. So that's about it for my Mac for this deck profile and not to mention obtaining Apollo as a playable character. I heard that there's gonna be a mini box upcoming soon regarding Maglord supports. A lot of other archetypes to prefer to support the the few other archetypes that's currently available in the game, such as Abyss Actors for example. But I do not know when that mini box will come out, but the moment it does come out, I it is a guarantee that I'll make a video about it. And I hope to I hope to see you guys soon. That's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye, stay safe, but keep dueling.